Hey, it's Soviet Combat Sloth here, and uh, this is just like a quick mini unboxing. Like, uh, I've ordered a package from LukeyGames.com, and uh, just a few, just a few small things, like just a couple Sega Genesis games, really. And uh, let's get to it. First game I got, I wish I would have been able to get a copy of this complete. I remember having this when I was a kid. It's a pretty cool game, I thought. But, uh, yeah. Pac-Man Adventures Part 2, I think. Yeah. Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. All right, that's exactly what it's called. I think this was like, I don't know, six, seven bucks, something like that. Like, so, yeah, happy to have that. Like, I remember playing it as a kid. It was cool. Then I have Terminator 1 for Sega Genesis already, like, complete in box, I believe. So I had to get Terminator 2 complete in the box. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, I don't know, 20 something bucks. Like for this complete inbox copy. I remember playing, uh, I remember playing this way back in the day when I was a kid, and, uh, it was pretty cool. I don't think I had a box copy, I had a loose copy. But, uh, Yeah, I've just really wanted to get it again. And like I said, I got the first one, so it's cool to have it, and especially complete. Looks like it's in pretty good shape and everything. I remember this game being really hard when I was a kid, but I don't know. It was cool, though. Like, you get even... Like, if you're... Have you ever seen the movie? There's the bar scene. Like you're like when you first start out in the in the movie or whatever, he's like, "I need your suit and your jacket," or whatever the hell he says. I don't know. <laughs> That's definitely not what he says. And then this one, uh, like I was in a retro store, the game store, and I seen Risk. I remember having, I think, a complete copy of this when I was a kid, and I remember it was all right. Like I always thought the board game Risk looked looked cool because. I've always been into like war game type things. But I never really played the board game that much. And I had this on Sega Genesis for a brief period of time. And I remember it being cool. But I seen it in a local game store. They wanted like $13.99 or something for just a cartridge. And I almost grabbed it because I seen a video. Like somebody posted. And uh, like they had this game on their video. And. I was like, I felt nostalgic for it. I was like, man, I kind of, I missed that game. And, uh, well, I was at the game store and I was seeing the loose copy for like almost, it was like 14 bucks. And I was like, I hesitated, didn't get it. And then, uh, yeah, so then, like, I don't know, a couple days later, I hop on to wookiegames.com. No affiliation, by the way. Like, I just, I've ordered from them in the past and, like got manuals and some carts and stuff and like they're pretty reasonable on their prices most of the time but uh yeah i felt nostalgic for it then i seen this on there so i clicked on it and they they had a boxed copy for like i don't know it was like 12 50 or something like that like for a complete copy so yeah i'm glad i Passed up on the uh, on the loose cartridge for, for like fourteen dollars. Yeah, it's like after, it's like a uh, it's risk. I don't know. It's like the board game. Like uh, you get the little map and you get to maneuver your troops and stuff like that. But then, like it'll have little animations of like 
Jeez, I can't really get it good there. But uh, there will be like cannons and stuff firing and like you could see the actual the units getting getting taken out by the cannons and stuff. It's like it's kind of cool. Like I remember enjoying it. But I was a kid and I didn't have a lot of money. Still don't. But uh, like if I wanted something new, I'd have to get rid of something sometimes. So yeah, it's good to have a nice box copy in the collection again. It's like me when I was a kid too. Like I used to break all the damn tabs off and like the hang tags and the hang tabs, whatever. Like somebody's done that here. I kind of regret that in a way, but yeah. That's kind of cool too. Like one to six players. That's pretty pretty awesome for something like Sega Genesis or something. Like you'd obviously probably need a multi tap to hook to your system to enable you to like play with six players like getting six controllers hooked up all at the same time like but uh yeah i always enjoyed the artwork like the artwork on these older games like that just looks badass like like revolutionary war type era like it's kind of cool man i wish they still did cool like hand-drawn looking artwork on the game cases but yeah, that's just a few quick uh, pickups that I got and figure I'd film it and there we go. But adios.